In the beginning, Jesus created us. He breathed life into us and so desires to give us a future and a hope. This forever and always loving Lord God of the past, present, and future is a timeless treasure who knows you more than you know yourself and is waiting for you, even longing for you. He is calling your name. Do you hear him? Come and see and get a glimpse of who he is. Welcome to Tea Time Treasures, and this is a summary of the seven I am statements of Jesus, which are metaphors. They are word pictures that describe the character of Jesus. Jesus doesn't just talk about what he can do or give, but strongly knows and shows who he is. The I Am Statements of Jesus is the first series on Tea Time Treasures, exploring the multiple reasons of the ultimate strong claim that Jesus is God in the flesh and what he has to offer his creation. So let's begin with I am that I am, the foundation. Understanding who the I am is, is the foundation, the base that holds everything. The root underneath supports the foundation as the identity that carries much significance and the key that opens the door of understanding. All of this can be upheld in the court of law. The Lord God's variety of names is described by this great I am who is identified. Let's begin with the first I am statement of Jesus. It's found in John chapter 6, verse 35, and it reads, I am the bread of life. This bread of life is our hero. What did this hero do? Jesus carried our heavy leaven of sin himself. Jesus is our yoke fellow that can associate with our deeper longings and offers the free gift of eternal life. He says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. I will give my flesh for the life of the world. The second I am statement is John chapter 8, verse 12. And it reads, I am the light of the world, the spark. The world is searching for an answer. Who can we turn to? A supernatural light. Sparks ignite in the hearts of those who, in close vicinity of this supernatural light, Respond. What does it take to shine in a dark place? Actions speak louder than words. The world is an ornamental decoration. Our actions are beautiful depending on who you follow. The third I am statement of Jesus comes from John chapter 10, verse 9, and it reads, I am the door of the sheep, the gatekeeper. Every door has a gatekeeper. Three doors or gates, which are metaphorical, physical, and spiritual, all lead somewhere. Each one of these types 
leads to different possibilities where battles are won or lost through our choices. By entering through this door, you enter through a portal that protects the border and leads to this gatekeeper's spiritual kingdom, a spiritual world that begins a unique journey. The gatekeeper of this spiritual door provides forgiveness and divine care. It is the only way to eternal salvation and life. Every sheep is called by name, but not all will enter. Sheep are stubborn and follow in herds easily. Choose the gatekeeper that offers the only way. The fourth I am statement of Jesus is found in John chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd, the gem. A good shepherd is truly a gem. Do you know what a good shepherd looks like? A good shepherd gathers the sheep and cares for them. A truly good shepherd leads with a holistic mentality. A good shepherd calls, leads, and goes before his flock or his sheep. He knows them and lays down his life for them. The fifth I am statement is found in John chapter 11, verse 25, and it says, I am the resurrection and the life, the restorer of life. What do you think it would take to remain alive forever with the very source of life? There are two resurrections and each one ends in a very different place for eternity. It takes choices now in this physical realm to inherit either everlasting life of blessing or cursing. Which one are you headed towards? Our life on earth is temporary. We are sojourners, just pilgrims. Which life for eternity have you chosen? The sixth I am statement is found in John chapter 14, verse 6, and it reads, I am the way, the truth, and the life. This is a journey of a lifetime. Without a map, compass, or GPS, we would easily get lost during an extended trip. Wouldn't it be nice to have someone who has traveled the way and knows the way to guide you on your journey? Well, we do have these tools at our disposal. We just need to use them. There are many types of roads, big and small, that one can take that would slow your progress, lead to distractions, that would detract from your destination and may lead to a dead end. Your life's journey now is preparing for kingdom living. How you travel in your life's journey could be very rewarding in the end or disappointing. Are you following the one that shows the way, leads by truth, and fulfills your destiny? Will you end your journey standing strong? The final and seventh I am statement is found in John 15 verse 5, and it reads, I am the true vine, the big secret. Many things are done in secret, but this big secret is not really a secret. It is known that the vine is the life support of the fruiting part of the plant. It is where the nutrients come from. In order to receive the life-giving nutrients, the plant needs to abide, to stay, and to receive those nutrients. 
These nutrients can provide a sweet flavored fruit if nothing else takes that nourishment away. Are you receiving the nourishment the vine has to offer? I would invite you to visit each of these statements and evaluate where you are with the I am. Thank you for taking the time to watch and learn. I invite you to visit each of these seven I am statements of Jesus and evaluate where you are with the I am. If you have not watched them, please don't miss out on the blessing of getting to know who this great I am is. It is always good to take the time to learn more about him. Thank you and be blessed.